Have you had moments in your life when you feel like you just want to give up? That no one is coming to help you. No one is coming to rescue you. That you've tried everything you possibly could to solve the problem that's in front of you. And just feel like quitting. I've had many, many of those moments in my life and in my career. As an entrepreneur, I faced various challenges, competitions, problems on a day-to-day -day basis. And there are many times in my life that I felt maybe I couldn't solve this problem, maybe I couldn't overcome this, maybe I should just quit. Most people are governed by their habits, their fears, and the opinions of others. A lot of people never try anything differently because they have been convinced by people in their lives that they value, that they can't do it. They're living within the context of the opinions that other people have of them, the low expectations. Many people doubt themselves because when they thought about doing something at some critical point in their lives, somebody they respected and honored, somebody they believed in, somebody that they loved, someone they trusted said, you can't do that. And they accepted that. Imagine if Michael Jordan was scared of missing. He would have never taken a shot. Imagine if Steve Jobs was afraid of people not liking his product. There would be no iPhone. So ask yourself this. Do you want to be a person who fears failure? Or do you want to be a person who loves success? Which one? Because you're going to have to pick today. And I'll tell you one thing. One is a failure and one is a success. And if you love success, there is nothing that can stop you. All those negative things people say will mean nothing. As you look at your life, ask yourself the question, what would your life be like? What would your life look like if you decided not to care what people thought of you? What would your life be like if you decided to give up some of your fears? What would your life be like if you decided to become courageous? What would your life be like? So what I want you to do is, is think about something you want for you. That's real for you. That's important for you. That will give your life some special meaning and power. When you feel like quitting, remember all of those who said you'd fail. When you feel like giving up, remember why you started. When you feel like quitting, remember what you're doing it all for. When you feel like quitting, remember pain is temporary and greatness lasts forever. Stop thinking, worrying, looking over your shoulder, hoping for some easy way out. And just do! This is the time that you must wake up and realize that giving up is not the option that you must take. I understand that it's going to get tiresome sometimes. I understand you're going to feel like quitting. I understand you're going to give up and you're going to want to say you don't have it anymore. But I'm here to let you know that you got to rise up and you got to continue to push for it. And you got to walk down that path. And if you get down, get back up. And if you're feeling alone, you're not alone for very long. You have got to find the inner peace within you because it has yet to be awakened. Do something different the next 90 days than you did the last 90 days, like picking up the books to read. Do something different like the new health disciplines, relationship with your family, whatever it is, doesn't matter how small it is. If you'll start doing different things with the same circumstances, since we cannot change the circumstances, but we can change ourselves. We can change what we do. And then he gave me another secret to success when he said, 
What you have at the moment, Mr. Rohn, you've attracted by the person you've become. What you have at the moment, you've attracted by the person you've become. Rich people don't sleep eight hours a day. That's a third of your life. It ain't but 24 hours in a day. You cannot be sleep eight hours a day. You can't live in LA and wake up at eight o'clock in the morning. It's 11 o'clock on the East Coast. The stock market been open two hours. They already making decisions about your life and your ass will sleep. The Bible says he who loves to sleep and the folding of hands, poverty will set upon you like a thief in the night. Whatever it takes to get you to try harder, read more, set your goals and go for it. You must learn to handle the negative. Don't ignore it. Handle it. You don't have to live in it. You don't have to dwell on it. But you do have to handle it. My opinion. I know some people teach, just turn your head real quick and say, there's no wheat, there's no wheat, there's no wheat. They'll take your guard. So you've got to handle the negative. Here's what part of it is. It's called the great war between good and evil. And there is a war on. The minute you were born, you got involved in the war between good and evil, between darkness and light, between negative and positive, between evil and good, between tyranny and democracy between weeds and human activity. I mean, the war is on. If good does not arouse itself and become active, guess what moves in? Evil. It's a war. A mental war, a physical war, a financial war, between enterprise and ease, between accomplishment and failure. It's a war. Many of us delude ourselves with our words into believing that we're making changes and making progress when in fact our daily activity is taking us in the exact opposite direction of our affirmation. Why would you walk in the opposite direction of your dreams? The man dreams of wealth and walks daily towards certain financial disaster. The man wishes for happiness and thinks the thoughts and commits the acts that take him to certain despair. So to have a prosperous life, start a prosperity plan. To become wealthy, start a wealth plan. Remember, you don't have to be wealthy to have a wealth plan. A person with no means can have a rich plan. If you are ill, start a health plan. If you don't have energy, start an energy plan. If you don't feel good, start a feel good plan. If you're not smart, start a smart plan. If you can't, start a can plan. If you haven't, start a have plan. Anyone can, even a bad person, can start hearing good messages and reading good books. Recognize that the start of the better life, the happy life, the wealthy life is today. This is exciting. Both the process and the result can begin today. Start the new journey today. If you think of a new idea, today is the day to begin the discipline of putting that idea into action. Set this day up as a long, busy, exciting start for your new life. Get your first book for your new library today. Begin your new practice of setting goals today. Start clearing out a drawer of your new orderly desk today. Start eating an apple a day on your new health plan today. Put some money in your new investment for fortune account today. Start reading with intensity for your new wealth of mind plan today. Write a postponed letter today. Make a delayed telephone call today. Pick up your camera and take a picture of something to start your new treasury of photographs today. Get some momentum going on your new commitment to the better life. Your brain is the most powerful weapon in the world. Once you put away your phones and your computers and all that we have nowadays, yeah, that's great. We're up to date, we, you know, you, but your brain is the only thing you have when you're going through depression, when, you, when you're going through hard times. If you can't control your own brain and your brain controls you, you're f Some people see the thing that they want and some people see the thing that prevents them from getting the thing that they want. They know exactly what they want. They can see the summit. What they can't see is the mountain. Fear can, can hold you back from doing something that you know within yourself that you are capable of doing. When you put forth effort, you get reward. You should be constantly revising your conclusions. Most of us just throw ourselves into the deep end and then try swim and figure it out. And you're not the only person. There's so many people who feel like that. So the point is that you're trying to get to a, such a strong foundation that when you interact in the world, you're going with a sense of strength, fuel, energy to make a difference. Rather than going into the world and then going, oh my God, where am I trying to figure it out?
people were so far removed from their own understanding of themselves that they were either lost living a life they didn't want to, lost living up to someone else's expectations, or lost becoming someone to impress someone else. I dare you to work on yourself for six months. I dare you to shut out the world. I dare you to shut out all the distractions. I dare you to give up everything that is keeping you from your dream. If you have a dream, don't just sit there. Make something happen. Becoming successful can be, and at some point will be, a very lonely journey. Now, if you know your outcome, know why you want it, and take massive action. You're now in the most small percentile of people on the planet. So what's the next step, though? Well, you can take a lot of action and get caught up in a pattern. So what you have to be able to do to succeed so you don't get caught up in some old pattern is you got to know what you're getting. Know what you are getting. Success is happiness. The kind of happiness that makes a noise. It announces its arrival with a deep inhale and a deep exhale. That happiness. You know that happiness, right? That happiness is success because it turns out happy people get jobs. Happy people create. Happy people win. Happy people fall in love and raise families. They lead and change the world. Happy people get what they want because often happy people are the ones who realize they don't actually need much more than they already have and they appreciate what they've got. Happy people are contagious.